Hey guys, your boy Robert here, and today we're going to put this debate to an end. We got links, we got switches, we're going to put them to the test, and we're going to find out once and for all what is the best way to turn on and off your combat robot. So stay tuned, let's talk about the reliability of the switch and the safety of the link. Let's do this. Hey guys, Robert once again. I just wanna say, if you haven't already clicked that subscribe button, probably a good time to do so. If you like the content you're seeing, just go ahead, click that subscribe button, smash that bell, make sure you got notifications on. Let's get to it. So like, what is a switch? What is a link? Why do I need them? Well, you need something to actually turn that thing on. Now, you can use a link or you can use a switch. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the five best reasons why you should use either one of these. And at the end, we're gonna figure out what the best one is. So stay tuned, be sure to watch towards the end. Now, when I started this video, I didn't know what a link was. I didn't know what a switch was. I was clueless. I was like, what are these things? What is it, huh? And one place that I went is I went to a site called SkillPay. SkillPay is a great place where you can go there. You can learn about all sorts of stuff. You can like learn about welding. You can like learn about photography. You can like learn about accounting. You can learn about all this different cool stuff. It's kind of exactly like YouTube, but you get to pay for it. So you got a dude standing in front of the camera, kind of like what I'm doing right now, but you pay money for that instead. It's pretty amazing. This video is sponsored by them. And if you check out this promo code down below, you get your first month free, unlimited. They just take the audio and video away, but you get to watch as many videos as you want in that first month. Just go ahead and use this code and check it out. All right, everyone, first up, number one, number one always comes first. The first thing that we're gonna talk about with these is how confusing is it? Like, it's, they're confusing, right? So I'm gonna rank these in order of which one's most confusing and which one is least confusing, okay? So starting with the link, the link is like a link, right? You put it together, it makes the thing go on, but it's a link. Wait, what? I. Like, do you click on it? Like, what is it? I don't get it. It just, it's confusing to me. I don't understand. A switch is a switch. Like they're like, hey, go over to the oven, switch it on. And you're like, cool, I got it. You switch it on, it switches on. Like super simple. Number one right here, one point for the switch, no points for the link. Link, it's just confusing. Like link on your robot. Pff, what does that even mean? Nah. All right, moving right along to number two, safety. Safety is always first. So with both of the links and the switches, they're both pretty safe. Let's say you got this robot, you know, it's spinning, it's out of control, it's gonna come right at you and it's gonna kill you. So you got the switch, the switch, you gotta like fiddle around, find the hole and you know, get it turned off and that's, you know, it works, but it's kind of tricky. With a link, I mean, you just look at it, you know, you just blow at it and it just falls off. You know, it just turns off. So definitely the link is the safest way to go. You know, one little hit against another robot, boom, falls out. You just look at it wrong, boom, it's gonna fall out. So definitely the link is gonna be the safest one. Now, there are a lot of startup procedures that you need to pay attention to when you're building your combat robot. You know, you got your fail safes, you got all your safety checks and I'm actually in the process of making kind of a website for all of these things. So you can go there and you can see, you know, what all the safety procedures and safety processes are and all that stuff. I'm not like a website engineer. I don't like do this for a living. So I don't really know what I'm doing. And one site that really helped me out, it was super easy, was CubeSpace. CubeSpace is a great website. You can go there, you can just click a couple buttons, type little things on the keyboard, boom. You don't have to be a website engineer or like a scientist or anything like that. And if you use my promo code, it helps me out and you can get your first like website for you know pretty much like 1% off. I mean, it's basically the same rate, but 
it, it just helps me, you know, like you want to help me. I think this would be a great time. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Really helps me out. You know, what's your favorite like website? What's your favorite site? What site do you use the most? Go ahead and place a comment down below and, you know, tell me what your most favorite website is. I'd, I'd love to hear it. Truly. Hey guys, welcome to number three. For this test, we're gonna be measuring how much current we can put through each one of these devices. Is we're gonna attach some wires to this, put in some current, and then we're gonna use our little current gun here to measure how much current is going through. So the more current, the higher the gun's gonna read. So let's go ahead and hook this up. Okay guys, I got everything ready to go. My wires are hooked up, my link is ready, and I've got my current sensor. So let's get this on. Okay, let's kick the power supply. Boom, that is like instant. It just went straight up to like 72, 73. So that's one thing I really like about Lynx is they are just so consistent, right? As soon as I turned this thing on, it was like 72. We're getting 72 amps, just continuous. I'm just gonna round that up to 73, so really good job. All right, guys, I got the same setup with the Wyachi switch, and let's see what happens. Let's turn on the power supply. Okay, okay. So we're like, you know, 60 amps, something like that. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. It's still about 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. Oh my God, this thing is just drawing so much power right now. Look at that. Oh, they're like 150, 160, 170, 180, 250, 280, 300. Look at that. Look at that, it is just glowing with the amount of power that's just going through that right now. Oh my God, oh, it's a little warm though. It's a little warm, that's okay, that's okay. Yeah, I think 300 is about the max. Cool, let's go ahead and turn off this power supply. You know what they always say guys, numbers don't lie. This one was 73 and this was over 300 amps. This is significantly higher. Last time I checked, 300, a lot more than 73. And the craziest thing is, my current sensor only goes up to about 300. So this was most likely a lot higher. So definitely got to give the win to the switch on this one. So guys, how crazy was that? 300 amps through this guy, that's huge. Now you might be looking at me and thinking, man, this guy's got it all figured out, knowing about like electricity and like voltages and amps and all that stuff. Well, I didn't always know how to do electricities, right? I had to read a lot of books now. I don't really read books. There is a great site that you can go to. It's called bookable.com. You can actually just listen to the books. You don't even have to read it. You don't have to look at the thing. You can just sit back and you can just listen to it. Someone will read it to you. You're you know, just sitting on the couch, stuff like that. You can just have the books read to you. You can just sit there and like osmosis that stuff into your head. And the craziest thing is all the books are read by like celebrities. So you can get books read by like Gilbert Godfrey, Bobcat Goldthwait, Marty Matlin, you know, people like that, famous people, they can read those books back to you and you can just absorb all that knowledge in. Now, I got a special for you guys. Just for my fans, I got a promo code to where you can get this only .00025 cents every minute right? Paid up front for the year. So yeah, guys, use the promo code down below, sign up for it, totally forget about it, and just keep getting those monthly bills every month, you know, for years on end. It's a pretty good deal. All right, guys, moving right along to number four, my favorite number, lucky number four. It's anyone's game right now. Let's talk about the next category, which is ease of use. Which one of these is the easiest to use? First up, we've got the switch. Now the switch is a little complicated. You need a whole separate thing to use it and there's like all these holes inside. Where does it go? Does it go in here? Is that switch it? No. Does that switch it? No. Oh, it's in here and I got to turn it. Which way do you turn it? Do you turn it left? Do you turn it right? How many turns? You know what? I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Too many steps. Link, let's try this out. Off, on, off, on. I can get my head around that. Point goes to the link. So now we are tied to 
and two. And I just want to take a quick minute. If you guys haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. Click that bell, make sure you got notifications on. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. For the top comment, what's the easiest thing that you use every day? So why don't you guys tell me in the comments down below, what is the easiest thing that you use? I'll pin the top comment. And you know what? We got a mug and we got a notebook. I'll go ahead and send a mug and a notebook out to the top comment. What's something you use every day and that's the easiest thing to use? Go ahead and put the comment down below. All right, guys, it's time. We're at number five. Got two points for the link, two points for the switches. It all comes down to this. Final category, cost. Over here, we've got the link. Each one of these costs maybe a couple dollars for the connector maybe a couple nickels for the wiring. We're looking at somewhere in the cost range of, I don't know, two bucks, three bucks, plus your time, whatever it takes to solder this guy up. On the other side, we got the switch. This Waiachi switch, about a hundred bucks. Two fifty, three dollars, hundred bucks. Clear winner, Waiachi switch. You wanna know why? more expensive it is, the better it is. House, more expensive house, better house. Cars, more expensive car, better car. Is a Lamborghini better than a Civic? Yes, it's more expensive. And then finally, champagne. Do you want cheap champagne or do you want expensive champagne? Expensive always means it's better. Switch wins, no contest. So there you have it guys, this is the result of the shootout. You know, during this whole shootout, I actually learned quite a bit. I was on so many websites doing a lot of research on, you know, switches and different materials and, you know, links and stuff like that. And I came across a couple websites that I couldn't access the information that I needed because you see, I'm located in the US and they were located like over in Russia or China or whatever. So I found this really great tool that I wanted to tell you guys about. It's called Lord VPN. And it's a really great way for accessing content in geographic locations that you're not currently in. And VPN stands for a visualized protection node. And basically it allows you to access all of this information. It's a fantastic service. And I don't personally have a promo code for this. It's just something that I use and something that I really believe in. But if you go to their site, they'll give a free trial pretty much to anyone with a pulse. And you can just sign up and just use it. It's pretty cheap. And quite simply, they just pay me money for mentioning it. So why wouldn't I mention it? So you should definitely check it out. Lord VPN, be the king of your internet. Hey guys, thanks for watching this crazy shootout video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, smash that bell, and make sure you get notified of all the other great content we got coming out. And of course, be sure to check out our sponsors. That's the only way I make money. There's no way I'm getting a real job. I'm just gonna keep standing in front of the camera and pointing at it and doing stuff like that and telling you about all these crazy websites that you can go to that I personally use, which I don't, so that I can get more money. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. completely free. You pay nothing. You don't get any books that month, but if you sign up, that first month is free, and then you can start paying the second month. You know, and then the second month is, you know, a couple hundred dollars a month. And think, don't worry about it. Hey guys, your boy Robert here, and today we're going to put this debate to the... put an end to this debate. Thanks a lot, buddy. Just go ahead, click that subscribe button. Ah. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to this, subscribe. You gotta get in there and you gotta like root around. Okay. okay. Paid up front for the year, but it's a great deal. Don't miss out. It's amazing.